Hello, this video shows the use of the free Rhino plugin VSR WebGL export. It allows you to create a 3D HTML page from your Rhino model, so the person viewing it online or receiving it via email doesn't need to have Rhino. When receiving this web page via email, you just need to open it in a WebGL capable browser like the newest version of Google Chrome or Firefox. Opening the page, you have an area where you can rotate the model and zoom in and out. Textures and Rhino dots can also be written into this model. The frame around the 3D area contains a title and the name of the author, which can optionally be a mail or web link of your choice. Clicking into the upper right corner of the 3D area, you can read the notes of the Rhino model if they have been exported. It also contains information about how the web page was created and how you can navigate through the model. By simply clicking again, you return to the 3D area. How to get there? Let's open Rhino and export this flying architecture example. When having the WebGL export plugin installed, you have a new toolbar named VSR WebGL, which contains three icons. The first one writes your Rhino model into an HTML page, which can then be sent via a webmail client of your choice. If you have an email client like Thunderbird or Outlook installed, you can use the second icon to directly open a Compose Message dialog, which automatically has the created web page attached. The third icon just provides the version number and some additional information. So, let's send the model. Clicking on the icon, a dialog with several options is opened. The default title of the HTML page to be sent is the Rhino file name. As author, I'm entering Flying Architecture, as I got this free example from that web page. You can optionally add a link to the author entry. You can choose between an email or a web link. I'm putting in the web address of Flying Architecture here. If someone clicks on the author's name in that HTML page, he will be redirected to that address. Rhino dots and notes can be exported as additional information if wanted. The approximate file size of the page to be created is also displayed, so I can optionally zip it if it is too big to be sent directly. When clicking on OK, the HTML page is created, zipped and added to the mail I'm going to send. Like mentioned before, you need an installed email client like Thunderbird or Outlook when using this dialog. The Compose Mail window is opened automatically then. Of course you could choose a different subject in text than the default one. The person receiving that mail can then just double click on the attached file. The default zip application is started for unzipping it. Once unzipped, a double click on the HTML page is opening the 3D model inside the chosen browser. It can be rotated and zoomed like the simple example in the beginning. In Google Chrome you can view up HTML pages up to 110 megabytes like this example from the Technical University of Delft in the Netherlands. Zipped, the file size can be reduced to about 12 MB. So, let's open it in Google Chrome. And as you can see, even such big models can be rotated and zoomed smoothly. You can download this free plugin on www.virtualshape.com. All you need to do is to register to be able to download the plugin. Registration is free and will just take you a few seconds. If you should have any suggestions, enhancement requests or problem reports, just let us know. We look forward to hear from you. Thank you for watching.